Use it well. Okay, um... We're running no edicts. We have some money. I need so much money. Fake Khazad Doom is in this node and does have a center. I need money. Actually, I need to upgrade this. Level 2. That's the next expense. So let's not spend any money. Oh, hey, we have a valid rival. Mountain Shark. Sweet. We can actually get some power projection. And they're no longer valid rival. Well, that didn't take long. Can we still blame Steopa, though? Of course. Just because he's a mod doesn't mean that he doesn't do things wrong. Bell's a mod. Okay, well, there goes the Humiliate CB. Uh, it didn't last long. Okay, I'm going to hold off. In two months, we can take tech without penalty. So we're gaining 18 points. We'll be at 900. We'll be at 1,000 on the dot. We lose one Monarch point. But then we save 60 on tech. So that's worth it. I'm just bringing all these guys home. We're gonna go explore more. Your ruler is a mage? My ruler is a... What do you mean? How do you know? He's not a mage, he's, he's immortal and pious. The book is pious. Okay, so we're exactly at a thousand. Oh, the cap is a thousand, so I didn't even lose a point. Nice! Shit. We're only in December. Um. Roll a general, fire axes. Go over the limit by one. Four to eleven. We've been having some good luck. Let's do one more of these. I like these. These are fun. Who shall lead? If we're going to do it with the prediction system, maybe I should reinstitute the uh, request for a named general. Princess Maker. Princess with two S's, yes? Okay. So we're currently rolling, same as before, 6 to 13 pips. Place your bets. Above average, below average. Actually, remind me, the next general we do... No, I want to do this one. I want to do it on this one. I'm going to cancel this one. Delete. Bad. No, run. No, no. We're doing... I want to do it now. Let's let's skew it. Instead of it being 50-50... Um... How would I phrase it? Uh... Bottom... Top, top two? You know what I mean by, like, top two? So either perfect or perfect minus one? There might be a better way to phrase this. But but you you get what I mean, right? Top 2 means either a perfect roll or a, or one less than perfect and then not top 2 is anything else. So the idea is that we're we're making it so that it's a uh what's the what's the gambling term? Uh if there's like a fight and one person is like super expected to lose and the other person is super expected to win, it's um not just skewed or odds, there's a... Yeah, underdog, that, that type of thing. So, uh, yeah, let's do it this way. I'm not allowed to start prediction because why? I have to click that. Ah. Top two or bad? Meaning that technically if you're a top three, then you're still bad. <laughs> it would be nice if there was a 30 second option. How much of your dev is in useless ruined holds? Well, we have three that need to be repaired. Dynasty Hall, Bellastrix Hall, and Fake Khazad Doom. 
So Bellastrix Hall has 28 dev doing nothing. Uh, Dynasty Hall has 24 and Fake Casa Doom has 20. So 20 plus 24 is 44 plus 28. 60, 70, that's a lot. 70-ish development out of 226. But the problem is that to restore them, it takes time and gold and monarch points. And I need the monarch points because I need to do missions. I need 300 admin points to get 25 global settlers for the next 100 years. Like, that's so many years. You know? All right, let's see what we get. 224, eight total pips. He is a bad general. Bad. Sorry, 260,000 channel points. Bad. Bad general. <laughs> Interesting. What do you guys think? Is it too distracting from gameplay? Is it, is it just, just going to turn our, our uh, streams into a gambling simulation? But, but some people, like the, the people that bet on the top two, could have just made a killing. Look at the ratio, right? 656,000 channel points. If they had been right, they'd have a 3.5 payout. So if you had bet 100k channel points, you'd be at 350,000 channel points right now. Like, high risk, high reward. Gotta play those odds. Alright, we're into the next year. Let's take tech. Mm, we still have a tiny bit of corruption. We're not at the cap. Let's wait a couple more months. That corruption all the way to zero. Soft rock. Minas Tirith will be done faster. Minas Tirith gets easy, diggable rock. Local dev cost minus 20 until 1497. Five years of an extra minus 25% dev cost. It would be really great if it was actually speeding up the construction of this building. Really great. Big tech. We're also still behind on Diplotech. Mm. It's all just because of this corruption. Once the corruption's gone, we're we're great. We're looking solid. Let's make Myra like us. He is doing a Siberian frontier in the swamp. In hindsight, maybe I don't want him to do. Siberian Frontiers. He's going to colonize way slower than I am. So we should probably annex him. No reason to keep Shrek around, right? Also, we're losing an extra four ducats a month because we've got the fourth co uh, the, the excess colony. That's part of it. Lose stab or lose money. We're losing money, obviously. Okay. <laughs> How much longer on this modifier 2 stuff? We only have two more years on 30% morale of army, 10,000 manpower, 50% manpower recovery, 10 force limit, and 80% army maintenance. Mithril arm cartel's opinion will go up. Banditry check. Orcs breach gains plus one goods produced and reduced autonomy change. Nah. Okay, resettling the Serpent Spine. I'm gonna do this click now. That'll help us get this, uh, one of these other colonies done faster. 82 per year. 82 per year. It's free colonization for a while? True, but he, he only goes at, um, one to three settlers per month. I mean... One to three, average of two. It takes him 500 months on average. It's 41 years to finish one colony. Really slow. Should we focus admin? We are focused admin. Uh, once the... Yeah, corruption's gone, so we're actually making some money. I, I would love to run a higher level discounted advisor. But I don't think I'm willing to pay for a full price level two. Not when we have so much need for money. But the big click that I needed to do, I just did. That was the last big admin expense from the mission tree. Level 5 in our hold. Level 6. Man, we can dig to level 6? <gasps> I wanna... I want it. 
Wait for going further. Wait for going further. This, that's still like three or four years away here. Goblet minorities emigrate elsewhere. So we have goblins here. They're still oppressed, but they help out with goods produced and stuff. There's good modifiers that we can get. If we if we make goblins accepted every time we get an event, we like goblins because they're subterranean. Goblins are really good to have as like a minority slave culture. Do we want to make this large goblin minority smaller? I don't think we do. I'll pay the Dipple Points. Stop them! You must live here! We need your assistance digging and stuff. You're cute. Yeah, here I go slaving again. Um, I'm gonna need to get rid of four troops anyway when we lose this uh, extra 10 force limit. So... I think we trim down some of these infantry. Even though they cost like no maintenance right now, they they will cost maintenance later, and they'll put me over the force limit. We also have this one troop up here still tr sort of trying to explore. Getting lost. It's really nice not having to worry about rebels anymore. That 100% government reform that we took that, that does stuff is really strong. We must be aware of the Silverforge expedition. Their land-grabbing tendencies may bring them into conflict with us. They took a colony from Mithrel Arm Cartel. Are these guys at war? They are. Well, that'd be good if we border them. Plus, our subject has a claim here. You have no friends. You have money. We can get our army adjacent to him by coming through the North Vale. Off we go killing again. Marshall Dutch, Twitch Prime, thank you, man. Saber Tree, thank you for the cheer a while back if I missed you. I don't think I did, but um, I'm getting distracted by all kinds of stuff that's going on, so. Beautiful Cavern, gain stab. Okay, so the Flooded Pit had stability, pushing us to level 3, which is actually kind of not great because this thing gives stab. But I guess we can save this for later. We have a free stab on command for the future. And we're positive three with less than one corruption, so rigorous researchers is possible. Which makes me happy. Let me start building up new claims on people. Am I actually using Excel Bell? No, not yet. We're just playing regular. Although it is possible that uh, someone on the Discord might get really ambitious and uh, make a proper Excel Bell port for 1.30. This guy's not a rival, so let's check and see if he's able to accept Conatieri. We were to rent out, for example, say, Dr. Quacksalver. I can rent out up to 22 troops. This interface is bad. Artemis. Artemis. You gave me your local UI, but the offer to Thierry's thing is wrong. It's bad. Bad. They are in debt. They don't... What? Attitude towards enemies? Do they consider me an enemy, or are they saying... Huh? Oh yeah, they're hostile. Still, it lets me like murder this army. I don't I don't care. We just attack him. We'll just attack him straight up. The orcs colonizing will still get colony events to add. Okay. We have some rebels, blue shield company separatists. Age bonus. Okay, so we obviously took higher developed colonies because of uh, all the colonization we're doing. We don't care about Cav. War taxes don't do anything yet, but very soon they will when we lose this uh, 
minus 80% land maintenance modifier. So war taxes could be okay. Don't care about aggressive expansion. Don't care about claims bordering claims. Or do we? I only have one diplomat, so claims bordering claims isn't that relevant. It's either adaptive combat terrain or unrest reduction. Probably adaptive combat. War taxes is the only option. No, I, I think I like adaptive combat. Let's go destroy his level one dig. Murder it. Also, I probably should protect my holds because I've got Minas Tirith. No, Fake Casa Doom is a hold that we... No, it's still ruined. It's a ruined hold. It can't get any more ruined, right? Are you going to burn down my cavern? If you do, I'll be, I'll be mad. I'll burn down all your caverns. How's that sound? Flood them. Cave collapse. A single loose beam was all that it took for our mine shaft to come crashing down. We're gonna lose base production in. Uh, yikes! We're losing up to three base production or three three development right now. Lost one. It's kind of bad. Okay, I need the two siege pit bleeder here. Thinky turtle goes here. Behind the artillery. Plus enough infantry to protect the front that, that back line. And we keep on trying to flood all of this area. He's trying to colonize a lot. He's a lot of colonies. To exploration, make sure this guy's still doing what he can. Why is it so slow? Gonna take my cavern and burn it down? Well, this one's already been burned down. If he tries to go here, uh, I do have an adjacent army. Got his capital. So we just destroyed his capital, right? Dig level one, surface level hold, it's damaged. So a full level hold, a full hold, I think, goes from. I think it's just always a direct decline, right? It goes from being just a, a dig level 2 to then being damaged. And then after damaged, it's ruined. Is there another level? We already have 89 more score. Let's not even fight his army. Unless he's got a colony that's like really close to completion. That one's really close to completion. What's the argument for seizing it? it saves me admin points. If we conquer it at some point, I've got to pay admin points for the territorial core and the full core. If we seize it, we can get the territorial core for military points instead of for admin points. So that's the argument for seize. My kobold has claims on it. True. But then I've got to pay diplo points, which I guess is fine. As long as we're splitting up the cost. 
All right. Um, I can't transfer it to my subject while it's being besieged. There we go. Oh, I also can't transfer it, period. Huh. Because it's a colony, I can't transfer it. That's funny. So I have to pay double points for it? <laughs> um, you have a trick? What's your trick? One guy for mission? I think we seize it. Yeah, I think we just seize it, and then we take it for our, for our own. We're going to be even more over the uh, colony limit, but some of our colonies are very close to completion, so it's just a little bit of expense. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's out of range for me to actually send a guy to. So I'm not actually demanding any land from this guy in this war, really. We just wanted money. It's just a person that we could attack. I like attacking people. Do you like attacking people? Because I like attacking people. Okay. Fortunately, they are our our religion and they're silver dwarf, so I don't actually need to send a colonist here to like flip the culture and religion. It'll still be our culture and religion, which is quite nice. We have a valid rival. These guys. Again. We're paying 10 ducats a month until one of these colonies finishes. That's kind of a lot. Maybe I should attack him, like, immediately before he stops being a valid rival again. 34,000 troops. His ally has 15. This guy's really close to our capital. Uh, we would probably come in this way. Knock out the secondary participant. Park an army here to protect the hold. Although the hold hasn't been repaired yet. The Mithrils. Yeah. Well, I have Monarch Points now. We did the, the one that cost 300. I, I would really like to get innovative ideas going. Considering how much Abin outlay we still have, maybe we shouldn't do innovative next and we should instead do a Diplo group. Like influence, maybe? I mean, we could do exploration, but it's trash. Dollar chance, global trade power. Diplomatic. Hmm. Interesting idea. Yeah. Uh, I think part of the reason why we only have one diplomat is because of this, uh, this adventurer government, which we're very close. Once we're done with the mission tree, or happy with how much of the mission tree we've completed, We'll stop being this government type, and then we'll get a diplomat back. But in the meantime, having potentially up to two more diplomats here would be quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like probably the idea, because we're not going to... I have too many admin point costs coming up. Economic. Since construction costs makes digging cheaper. Um, it's really the construction time that you need, though. That's what makes, like, holds take forever. Because they're, they're a building. Completing the mission tree will take forever. We're probably not going to do the whole thing, just until we feel like we've done enough. If we go diplomatic, and then we pick up economic third, or innovative third... We get monthly autonomy change, national tax modifier. Trade makes sense for dwarves too. We we do want money. 